Hi, I'm Pastor Kurt, and this is your five-minute Bible study. Today, we're going to look at Mark chapter 14, verses 66 through 72. This is the scene where Peter denies Jesus. Now, many of us are familiar with this. We know that Peter denied him, but let's kind of focus here on what's going on. Earlier, at the Last Supper scene, Jesus had predicted that Peter would do this. Well, Peter said, I'm not going to deny you. If anything, I'll die with you. I love you so much, Jesus. It's true. Peter did love Jesus. Peter's got a heart of gold. He's really committed to Jesus. But Peter's problem is that he often speaks before he thinks. Peter puts his foot in his mouth a lot. He says some really dumb stuff. He really loves Jesus, but his mouth sometimes gets in the way. Maybe some of us are like that. Maybe you're like that, right? You really, really love Jesus, but sometimes you say some stupid stuff. Well, here, Jesus has been arrested. He's been taken to his trial. And now Peter is kind of just standing there outside. He's not quite sure what to do. He's just standing there by the fire, kind of confused at what's going on. Well, people start to recognize him. And they say, hey, you were with that guy, weren't you? Peter gets scared. And he says no. They do this a second time. And Peter says no. They do this a third time, and Peter says no. Then Peter hears the cock crow, which is what Jesus said would happen. Peter realizes that he's denied Jesus just as Jesus predicted, and then he breaks down and cries. Now, I think what makes Peter so sad at the end is that he denied Jesus, but also that Jesus knew it was coming. Peter, remember, said, I'm not going to deny you. If anything, I'll die with you. But then how did it work out? He denied him. Three times he denied him. I imagine that Peter wept because he realized that Jesus knew that's what was going to happen. Peter didn't know that about himself, but Jesus knew. Jesus knows us inside and out. He knows us better than we know ourselves. He knows when we mess up. He knows that we will mess up. He knows that we're sinful, broken people. Sometimes we try to say, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not that bad. I'm not that sinful. Come on. Who are we kidding? Only ourselves, right? Peter, once he denied Jesus those three times, realized, yes, Jesus does know me better than I know myself. Sometimes we don't want to admit that. Sometimes we want to put on this face for other people that makes them think, hey, I've got it all put together. I know what I'm doing. We put on this great facade while inside we know that we're falling apart, but we don't want other people to know that. We especially don't want Jesus to know that, right? We want to appear like we're strong and confident that we're sure of ourselves. We're not going to deny Jesus. We will die for him. Well, when push comes to shove, we end up being cowards too. How many times, for example, do we have the opportunity to tell people that we know Jesus and we just keep our mouths shut? Rather than speaking out and telling them, yes, I know Jesus. Yes, I'm his disciple. What do we do? We don't say anything. We're just like Peter. And Jesus knows that about us. But Jesus also loves Peter. Jesus also loves you. Even when you mess up, even when you don't talk about Jesus when you have the opportunity, even when you don't admit that you're his disciple, Jesus still loves you. And thankfully, 
we still get more opportunities to tell people that we do belong to Jesus, that we do follow him, that we do know him, and that we do love him. So there's your five-minute Bible study for the day. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.